Welcome back everybody to Commentator's Corner. After that Japanese Grand Prix, um, myself and Tej are here with uh, four drivers tonight. Um, Tej, just uh, that race there um, could be pivotal in the championship, you never know. But uh, Recon with his first race win. Um, just talk us through quickly that race then. Absolutely fantastic race. You said pre-stream and during qualifying that the Suzuka race always does show up a fast and frantic race. The circuit is perfectly laid out for close wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. We certainly saw that. We saw a fantastic performance from Oli starting from six feet, qualified on the softs, managed to drive his way through, got past a couple of squabbling cars. You obviously had Recon and Lee Williams overtaking the two championship contenders in Jack and Oli. It was a fantastic race. Had a lot of entertainment from the back to the front and it was a fantastic race to commentate on. Absolutely. And um, we have, of course, the four drivers here. Um, we'll start, first of all, with uh, Recon. Uh, Recon, first race win of the season. Um, just give us a test then to make sure your voice comes through. Just just say a couple of words. He isn't in the party. Is he not? <laughs> oh, I've been making a little video now. <laughs> oh, well, you can to him if you want. I'll put a vote on that. Don't no, it's, it's fine. No, it's already ruined now. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, it's, taken, it's, it's taken <laughs> how many commentators corners for this to happen okay well, like commentators curse. It's, it's, I'm fine I'm fine <laughs> join us next week for commentators curse we're keeping them cock up again <laughs> right alright all right. let me re try and recover this at least um, let's let's talk to um, <laughs> let's talk to Ollie the man from Jersey why not Ollie um, second place in that race you did have a good battle with Recon is that uh, 18 points gained or 7 points lost after that one? Uh, it's hard to say because I feel like it's 7 points lost because of that stop go. I mean, I would have been, I'm would happy either way the result because Jack didn't score any points but it's still a long way to go and he needs another free DNS for me to catch up at all. So, start yeah. no, I'm starting to regret giving White the win now after Russia. So. I feel like those points could be useful. <laughs> But, well, um, um, <laughs> well, obviously, uh, the, the gap between you now is 85 points. It has come down. Um, is that still... It could be in the 70s. Well, is that still a, a, a gap you could reach, realistically? What? We've got how many races left? Four, five races left? Yes, yeah, so Realistically, got... Jack's got a DNF in every single one of them. So I just need to, I just need to bribe him to torpedo Jack for another three races, and I'll be good to, good to go. <laughs> Well, um, Alternatively, Ollie, you can always say, while well, it's still mathematically possible, I'll keep trying. Like, yeah, that sounds better, doesn't it? You know? Keevan's uh, <laughs> never mentioned it. I'm, Wait, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm, trying to make, I'm trying to make a, a little bit of a joke. Yeah. Where well, Danny could be out when you need a man. The torpedo. Yeah. Absolutely. And, Harpoon. Um, oh, absolutely. Um, obviously, this does help your championship, um, along with, uh, with uh, catching Jack then. Realistically, then, on a scale of one to ten, one being it's impossible, ten being yep, I'll absolutely do it. How do you rate your chances? Realistically, about three. It it's so we've got let's count. We've got USA, Mexico, Brazil, Abu Dhabi. That's four races. Jack needs to DNF three of those races for me to win. And you know how consistent Jack is. I don't see that being a high chance. <laughs> So I'm thinking realistically, not trying to get up my hopes. Um, but if it comes, it comes. But I'll be, I'll be happy either way. I'll be happy for Jack, and I'll be happy for me if I win. And um, let's have a look at the next race for the season. Then um, you've got the USA Grand Prix, Cota. Um, a couple of people like the track. How about yourself? Do you feel confident going into Thursday? Cota, Mexico, Brazil, all other tracks. So I'm looking forward to it. And um, obviously you'll you'll be taking nothing less than a race win then heading to uh, heading to Kota. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it, it, when it is a Thursday, so it might is have a Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Well, absolutely. You you just never know. <laughs> uh, Ollie, thank you for talking to us, um, and uh, we shall see you in uh, in Texas. No problem. By the way, Recon's in the party now, so you can talk to him. Yes, I did see that. Thank you. Thank you, Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to point that out. Yeah, thank you, Ollie. <laughs> Thanks, um, Ollie. <laughs> well, Recon, whilst you are here, um, you can jump the queue a little bit because I <laughs> introduced you first. Egg on sure. face. 
uh, anything like that. Um, Recon, um, I don't think you've been in one of these commentators' corners before, so just give us a quick um, two or three words, just so we can see you or hear you come through. Two or three words for the race. <laughs> any, any two or three you like, just while I get an idea. Well, what do you mean, man? <laughs> no, you, did, you had a great race today, Recon. Obviously, you, you came through from second place on the grid. You know what were you thinking when you're having that battle with Jack? Were you think you know you know he's a championship leader. Was that in any of your mind at all when you were battling with him, knowing the, the what kind of connotations an incident could have had? Are you just more concerned with uh, your own race? Yeah, I knew that when when I joined that Jack and Ollie were like fighting for the championship and stuff. So I. I don't want to take any one of those guys out, mm. so I was a bit careful. But I wanted, I wanted to go for the race win because Japan is one of my strong tracks. And I yeah. recently did a TTFL, the other league, from uh, the UG. I went first as well. So I knew I had some pace and I wanted to prove myself. Yeah. So I, I wanted to perform well. And I had a good first in with soft, uh, Super Sauce, but uh, the 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 final laps of my super soft stint, they were completely gone. So I lost so much time, and I almost spun into the wall two times that final lap. Yeah. So I lost so much time. Uh, so I went in the pits. I knew I had good pace, so I hoped that I could come back to the end of the race, and that happened. No, you did fantastically was... well, Rico. Um, the, the battles actually. you had with Jack and the battles you had with Ollie, obviously I touched on it earlier. That they're both challenging for the title, and obviously um, I, I think you've you, you've got yourself known from those two battles. Now it was a fantastic, great wheel to wheel, especially with Ollie. Like me and Kieran were talking about it during commentary, just how good and how clean, how fair the racing was. Do you think performances like this could give you a little bit of an opportunity, a push for a potential title challenge in the the coming seasons? I hope so. <laughs> it's my. Uh... My goal, I think, to win this league first and then see what's next. So, no, this helps. Yeah. No, absolutely, Rico. Well done in the good performance and uh, enjoy the, the race win. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Recon, uh, just while we have you, yeah. looking forward to uh, Kota then. Obviously, you said Japan, you've got good pace around here. Can we expect the same result for you, top step of the podium? Um, I don't know, actually. I haven't raced too much league races in. Uh, in uh, Dakota, so I really don't know. USA, I, I, on time trail, it's like, you know, always some good laps, but inconsistency, I don't really know. So I have to practice. But I like the track, so. Perfect. Well, Recon, thank you very much for joining us, um, and we shall Thanks, see man. you at Kota. Yeah, man. I'm ending off, I'm going to watch some Champions League. <laughs> no mention of those words no mention <laughs> so Bye -bye, next, take care next up in the uh, in commentator's corner is Alan Kay Alan that was a, a good strategy you uh, you had there running you had the soft tyres then the uh, super softs yeah not, not the kind of strategy I'd planned for um, I had hoped to qualify a bit better for them yeah first qualifying lap caught the curb on the inside of the torn tree and just straight into the wall so um it allowed me to, to have the free choice tire choice. Um obviously you as you are aware I'm pretty good on the tires at this stage so um I knew I obviously from Friday night as well we raced there I knew the super soft to soft or soft the super soft strategy was both available to me so um got on the softs got a good start to kind of dropped a couple of places to white and somewhere else I think it was at the start but places I kind of would have expected to drop anyway Um, once the field got down I got up to speed and some of the other types and a couple of guys just grind with really easy um, I was right up behind my it was a fairly decent chance to, to maybe get my as well until Nexus pursuit required while you was out on track and as uh, his AI car swung back out and track in front of us, uh, and both of us Mayas got around them just before the end to turn or the second uh, Degna. Um, unfortunately, I just clipped them at the, as we was turning into the corner. It sort of sent me a little bit long, and uh, important, thankfully got no damage, but we lost a lot of time to Mayas, and that sort of ended me battle with him in the race. 
Um, what we head down to the pit stop, after the pit stop, we were chasing them again. They couldn't catch Mays or Lloyd until sort of seeing Lloyd E disconnecting towards the end. It was just then hoping that I could get close enough to his ghost to, to, to jump on penalties, which I did in the end before he got control again. And uh, obviously, you had decided to race for McLaren tonight instead of Renault. <laughs> Uh, I didn't decide that, I actually didn't get a chance over when I set up the lobby, I set up the invoice I had to, something to do, I actually wasn't back at my, my chair before the, the race started, so um, I didn't get to pick a, a, a car, I was surprised to put me in the McLaren because the Renault was available and would have been the next available car down the list to give me anyway, which is so strange when they gave me the McLaren, but not my choice, <laughs> but it's not a car that we choose in the race in now I have to say. And um, coming on to the next race in uh, Kota, obviously you're good on your tyres. Texas is always a, a track that can claim a couple of tyres if it, if, it, if it can do. Do you see that as a, a confidence booster heading there? Yeah, uh, I know a one-stop again is possible using the Ultrasofts, which I know is not possible for a lot of drivers. Um, so that's an advantage to me. Um, to track a like as well, and I'm usually quicker. Um, as far as battling for points goes, maybe might scrape into the top ten, depending on how many is here. It's uh, it's one of them tracks that I like when I'm quick at, but unfortunately everyone else is quick at too. By the, by the scenes of it, so um, I'd be maybe looking to get into the bottom end of the top ten, maybe a call that, and look for more better points then down towards Mexico and Brazil, where I have again a tire advantage, but uh, a chance to use it more. Uh, thank you, Alan. Uh, Tej, did you have any questions for Alan? Uh, not really, but uh, what I would like to ask is, Alan, you know the, the, the second part of the race where you're catching up to, to Mitch, do you think uh, maybe if you pitted a few laps earlier on the soft, you could have had a chance to, to get through? Uh, no, because sort of the last final sector of the of the race, um, coming through 130R and through the Dunlop's yeah. chicane, uh, the tyres were starting to get quite slippery, so um, I think it was just barely on the limit of making them tyres. I think it would have, if I had another lap or two, it would have started a lot losing time on them. So um, you could say maybe if I had a pit of a lap or two earlier, I might have caught my eyes up, but again, mm -hmm. it would have dropped back away then towards the last couple of laps, so it wouldn't have really been worthwhile. No, absolutely. I'm obviously, yeah, caught an X, so good, uh, good points to take on uh, to the next race and build, build build your confidence and hopefully you can score some more points then because we all know um, how good the, and tight the, the the upper midfield is for, for those latter positions in the points so good luck moving up there to the, of the Americas thanks and I'll see you on Thursday well, thank you Aaron, and uh, yeah see you on Thursday and uh, next driver in the box is Spike. Spike, you had a really good start to that race, battling away with the top three. Second part of the race just seemed to be a race of your own. Just just talk us through it. Hello, guys. You're right? Uh, yeah. Oh, is um, he having a piss? Yeah, good start to the race. He's a camel if he is. Um, no, mate. And then, uh, yeah, um, good start. Um, did a better job on the tyres than both. Jack and Recon, because both of them lost their tyres on lap seven. I still had mine; they're all good. Um, so Jack spun on whatever lap it was seven, and then uh, Recon dropped it through Dagnas on the next lap, and um, yeah, that cost me quite a bit of time behind him trying to get past him. Should have been a bit more aggressive, probably. Um, just, <sighs> just didn't want to make contact. Know, so you know I, happened, I think um, I've gone for a bit harder there, and I would have got past him because he was still had dirty tyres at that point. Uh, so, um, in the that lap, I pitted, because okay. that was always the lap I was going to pit. Um, and then the Curious. game decided I had to wait for three seconds after Recon passed me in the pit lane, which is irritating, so I lost three seconds there. Which then meant I came out behind okay. Maze and okay. Alan Kay, which then meant I had to pass both of them, which meant I could, it took ages to get past both of them, but I caught them both in really bad positions in the lap, so I ended up spending quite a bit of time behind them. Which then meant that Ollie jumped me basically in the pit, in the pit stops, which was a bit of a shame because it would have been nice to at least been ahead of him to battle for it. But uh, yeah, it just didn't quite happen, unfortunately. Yeah, and um, obviously you've said before that you plan to be the, the sort of rear gunner for Jack. 
But what happens when Jack retires? Is it is it a sort of oh no, I've got to get 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 a move on here or because it looked like you had the pace at the beginning of the race to get past him, but mm. multiple times you closed the DRS early. Oh yeah, yeah, I was following him. Yeah, yeah, I was definitely following him. Um, I didn't want to risk anything stupid with Jack because he's not he doesn't give much room, so I um decided to just not just not go for a move unless he made it obvious he was going to let me through then i would have gone for it but he didn't so and then he just dropped the car anyway i don't know why he's pushing so hard through through dunlop um but that's yeah he just lost the rear um so i mean yeah like i said it, it was a really good race the car was good missing ultimate lap time compared to the top two definitely um but in terms of the tire wear in terms of where the car was the consistency was probably the best out there just yeah, just um, got scuppered in the pit lane, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, it's, um, sorry, sorry, Kieran. It's interesting you should say that because I mentioned during the stream was that when you caught up to Jack, <clears throat> excuse me, you were stuck behind him. You deactivated your DRS a few times as well down the main strip. I also noticed that Ollie was captain, and I commented at the time that it might be beneficial to you both if you know Jack was to let you. Uh, go in front of him and uh, build up a lead over Jack. So obviously you take some more points off Ollie if um, that situation arose. Do, do you just normally communicate during the race with regards to position, or is it uh, the status quo at the moment is kind of Jack will take preference? No, there's no communication. Like I said, um, if he'd made it obvious, um, or perhaps just lifted down a straight, then I could have. Um, I could have easily passed him. We wouldn't have lost any time, but he didn't want to do that. So that's fine. It doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't have to do that. So mm -hmm. I just decided to to just follow him. It wasn't an instruction at all. I just thought it'd be best to, yeah. to stick behind him. And then I thought Jack would sort himself out a bit and pick up the pace again. But obviously he obviously fried his tyres at that point. So um, so yeah, he spun through 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 Dunlop. Yeah. And then uh, unfortunately then Recon also made a mistake later in the lap. So I ended up losing. Two or three seconds to to Ollie on that lap um, to start with, and then or two seconds or where it was, and then like I said, because of the pit lane thing, because this game is pretty terrible when it comes to releasing the cars and stuff. I lost another three seconds, and then I came out behind slower cars um, it, because they hadn't pitted yet. Maze and, and Alan K, so I had to pass both of them. So you know, my my first two laps were were particularly fast. So. Ollie then jumped me in the pit lane, unfortunately. So then, uh, I mean, like I said, on the second, in the second stint, they had better pace than me. Um, towards the end, I kind of just backed off and just didn't want to get any penalties. But it would have been nice to at least battle for the win. But it didn't happen. But like I said, I was happy with my race, happy with the way the car was. So. Yeah, absolutely. Well done, Spike, and uh, good luck moving on to Circuit of the Americas. Thank you. And. Uh... We have finally in the uh, in the chat. He's been waiting so long for this one, but thank you so much for your patience. Naz joins us. Naz, how are you? No tonight? problem. Ah, uh, good. And you? Yeah, not too bad. Um, just just talk us through your race there. Uh, I messed up uh, in in lap one, uh, reaching the final chicane and just crashed there. Then uh, I was trying to do uh, 20 laps on the medium, so which was my strategy in the beginning. Then. Just try to get uh, one point, but Fate me Fika win at that. <laughs> yeah, and um, it seemed like uh, you, you were having a good battle with um, the last point's position. Maybe didn't quite work yeah. for you this race, but um, obviously it's a learning curve, and I'm sure you'll come back for USA. Yeah, I'll try, I'll try to, to extend my soft to try to go get some good pace on the on the super soft but uh, didn't catch him <laughs> almost but didn't catch him and uh, speaking well, of um usa obviously it's it's an aero heavy track with lots of tire wear um how do you prepare yourself for a race like that are you looking forward to it uh, it's a it's a track it's like uh, i don't like it but i i, I don't like it but it's uh, fun to do you know it's uh it's a uh, you can get always uh, cl close races and uh, it's uh, unpredictable unpredictable in some uh, stages and if i can save my tire as well and maintain a good pace you know, overall on the race i think i can go to top five or top six yeah looking back at your results um two top five finishes uh oh sorry one sixth place finish one fourth place finish um, every time you have finished, Naz, you finished in the points. 
Um, so it's looking good then, heading towards USA. Maybe a blip in the system this time around. I, uh, I was uh, a little bit sleepy, so I messed up uh, a lot in the first lap and uh, in the qualify. I couldn't get a, a, a one single lap in the in the qualify session, so my my mistake only. But I'm looking to get better for USA and try to bring some points to Toro also. Absolutely, and uh, you've done plenty of that. Um, what's the target then for USA? What would be a good position for you to finish in? Uh, I don't know, 7th. I think it's a good place in, in this tier. 7, 6. More, the, more than that is being a little bit, uh, how do you say, jealous or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not ruling it out because you have actually finished... Uh, fourth place this season already uh, and that was in yeah, yeah, Belgium like some guys retired early I think it well, was Belgium right? Yes uh, it was, yes well stranger yeah. things have happened Naz, um, but yeah. we look forward to the uh, USA Grand Prix um, Tej, did you have any questions for Naz? Yeah, uh, Naz, obviously you're, uh, you're getting caught up in the lower midfield there at the moment. Is, uh, how does it feel with guys coming uh, wheel to wheel with some of the races? Is it, is it something that uh, you feel confident with, with the drivers you have around you? Yeah, for sure. So, sometimes uh, people do mistakes, it's it's normal, but uh, usually it's uh, it's all okay for all the field. You can get uh, sometimes a little bit uh, mad and uh, heated, but uh, it's normal. Uh, yeah, because usually it's uh, good racing for all the on all the field. Yeah, because it's, it's it's like I always think myself. It's always like the midfield, the low midfield, are always the best at wheel to wheel because they're always scrapping all the time because yeah, you know pace yeah. is that consistent with them. So they always got to to fight for every point in every position. So yeah, I completely agree with that. So um, moving on now, circuit of the Americas. Good luck for Thursday, mate, and um, hopefully you get some more points for the the Toro Rosso. Thank you, and props to you guys for uh, for the streams. They are awesome. So, thank you. I'll talk to you. Man. Oh, no, it's not all me. <laughs> Come on now. Thank you very much, Naz, <laughs> and uh, we look forward to seeing you at the Circuit of the Americas. Thank you, mate. See ya. And that Tej rounds up commentators' corner. Then a lot of drivers we spoke to tonight, and. Um, Obviously, we've had a we've had a fantastic time, fantastic stream, and um, yeah, I'm already looking forward to Japan now. We just don't, Japan. And on that note, <laughs> <laughs> not only <in> Japan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're looking forward to Japan. I was. So, you know what? I'm so looking forward to Japan. You know what? <laughs> oh my god! Absolutely frazzled. Absolutely frazzled. Fantastic race. Frazzled. And... It was a great, honestly, it was a great race, Kieran. and fantastic. He sat alongside yourself again, commentating on this race and in this great league, and look forward to where we are next week. Yes, absolutely, which if I take a look at the uh, tables, is Japan. Uh, no, I'm kidding, it's Mexico uh, this time next week, <laughs> so uh, I'm assuming you're joining me for then. I certainly will be. Excellent. If well, you allow um, me. Uh, well, of course I'll allow you. Oh, of course I'll allow you. I just won't change the locks on the commentary box door. It'll be fine. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm asking for you. No, oh, absolutely. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching us. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell to know make sure you're notified every time you go live. Uh in the meantime though, I've been Kira McGinley. And I've been me. Take care of yourselves and we will see you next time. <laughs>